Hello everyone, this is a project for customizing your Python notebook. The motivation behind this project is due to this issue in the repository of the Pluto package. Over here, one of the authors of Pluto mentions that for many actions in a Pluto notebook, uh, they can be triggered via some keyboard shortcuts, for example, for running a sale using Shift Enter or for auto completion using Tab. But as you can see, many actions do not have uh, their keyboard shortcut already implemented. And in the comments, many people have suggested useful actions and they also do not have their keyboard shortcut implemented, at least up to this date. So in this project, uh, we implement such actions. I'm going to open a Pluto notebook and I'm going to do a little demonstration of such implementation. As you can see, it's already different to a usual Pluto notebook due to this button. As I click on it, I can tell you between the themes light and dark. Another implementation has been to wrap the code in a cell, the begin and end. I click in this cell and I press Ctrl Alt B. And it lets the lid. Now I'm going to wrap it with let end. I press Ctrl L. Wrap it with the markdown syntax. So Ctrl M. And now I'm going to demonstrate this implementation to toggle the visibility of a cell's input. However, uh, this, uh, this action has a shortcut also in this code, but I wasn't able to replicate the, replicate the exact your shortcut. But let's see how it works. Simply I press Alt C. Uh, it gets hidden or shown. Uh, now, to toggle the left documentation, I press Ctrl Alt D and I can uh, look for something. And then I press Ctrl Alt D and it gets here or show. Uh, now, about the splitting of cells, say I want to split this cell in, in, in this line, so I press, well, I go to this line and I press Ctrl Alt S and it was split. Okay. Uh, again, I wasn't able to replicate that set this code shortcut. Uh, now let's see to add a self above, uh, control shift enter. We also have add a self with a running, that is press alt enter. And this last implementation, that is to move the cell up or down, or down uh, I wasn't able to surf it. This code could almost uh, do this action, but um, I haven't been able to surf it because once you, for example, if you were to move this, let's see, this, this cell over here, via, well, directly via some JavaScript code, uh, perhaps with something similar to this. Uh, as soon as you interact again with the notebook, the cells get trapped back to their initial position. So I know how to overcome that. Now, so how can you make use of these shortcuts and also of this styling for the uh, for a Pluto notebook? Because we have also changed a little bit uh, this terminal in CD. Uh, we do that via the use of this Chrome extension called Tampermark. Uh, well, here you can download it, and then you, you will get this kind of icon. And we are going to create a new script. And in such file, we are simply going to copy the content of this JavaScript file. So, custom Pluto JS, uh, go raw, uh, copy this over here. So, basically, what it does is that whenever uh, you visit a page that starts with this, then this JavaScript code will be applied into such page. And this, uh, this part of the URL is also how the Pluto notebook it usually uses this for. One, two, three, four. Okay, so once you do that, when you open your Pluto notebook, these changes will have been implemented. However, if you were to try to export your template to HTML, uh, the, ch the changes won't be implemented, so it will be Pluto by default. But if you want, for example, at least to preserve this styling, this dark mode, if you were to print it into a static PDF, the styling will be preserved. But of course, we we'll use interpret. So that's basically it for how to implement these changes. Uh, what I'm going to talk about now is how to customize the keyboard shortcuts that you want. For example, maybe not for wrapping the, the code in a cell with begin and end, but perhaps with some other uh, lines of code that you desire. So we do that simply by modifying the file and of course modifying the user script that it's going to be used by Tamper Monkey. So let's simply take a look at this script. I'm going to open it over here in this code and I'm going to go into full detail but for example in this part we add some styling to the page we can toggle that mode via inverting the colors in all of the page and say we don't want to invert the colors of the input elements or image or well, I, I don't remember what this was uh, I think it was a container of of this terminal looking object so we simply Add this property also to those elements. 
So they don't get inverted uh, while they're bodies. You can change the tab size with this line, maybe 4 instead of 2. Okay, let's see another things. This is simply the button for them. To get light and dark mode, see, over here. Another important part, it's... Yes, it's over here. Say you want to to create a, a custom keyboard shortcut, so that when you press Ctrl Alt B, then the code in the in the current cell that you have clicked into, a, a line gets added in the beginning, and another line of code gets added in the well in the end. For example, in this case, in the beginning we had begin, and in the end we had end. So if you want that action to be activated via this via this shortcut, then we can use this function inside this part. So simply we are doing an array. This is the, the key code. So not, not control but the, the JavaScript property called key of the event key down whenever the key control is being pressed. Here's control alt then b. This is simply the text what key has been pressed. And then here's simply the line of code that you want in the beginning of the cell. And over here the line of code that I want in the in the end of the cell. So say I want to press Control Alt H and I want to grab the code in a cell with HTML in the beginning and then this in the end. Let me simply replicate this. Here control where well, it's key code would be control alt it would be like this H like this. We leave this as it is and in the first line we want this so we would write that with a special uh, I don't know. Uh, similarly, this is the last line. Okay. So now, simply by adding this line of code, now we have that when the user presses Ctrl Alt H, after having pressed in a in a cell of code, then this will be added in the beginning and this in the end. And if you press it again, then this will be removed. So similarly, as we can do this, it's exactly the same. So you can use that function to customize your keyboard shortcut. Another useful thing maybe let's see. Uh, yeah, simply this in, in the style that you decide for your zone of work, you can also add in add it in this part where we create a style element for that page. Now to end the presentation. Yes, let me let me make a final comment about uh, the use of keyboard shortcuts in, in Pluto because I mean, we are not going to spend a lot of time trying to recreate every every keyboard shortcut that we are accustomed to, perhaps when we use it in VS Code or in Vim, uh, because there is already this implementation for Pluto. What this, is, what this allows us to do is that, for example, if we run Pluto using these commands, as for example, I have done over here, I used two for this parameter of Pluto run, then as I make changes in the .jl file associated to this uh, Pluto notebook, then those changes in this file will be also applied in the notebook. So let me focus again in this specific cell. This code is the same that I have. Let's see that I have over here. Yes. So I could do something like maybe I don't want to use show but print ln. And I also want to change this over here, right? So if I don't know how to do that in Pluto. Then simply go to, to the JL file of the notebook, open it in the editor where you are used to, or, or you can use your custom uh, keyboard shortcuts and uh, execute those changes over there. So I will change this to print ln. And as I save it, the changes for to be updated over here. So whenever there is uh, the necessity of using uh, perhaps many keyboard shortcuts in a row, perhaps, or even, then simply do that in the editor where you are uh, used to perform executing such such shortcuts and then in, in the end it will be the same the changes will, will, will be also present in the notebook so it, it's not like you have to export every keyboard shortcut that you know in order to execute it directly in Pluto so that's really yeah, the last comment I wanted to make okay thank you I hope that this solves a little bit of this issue that the other stuff of the Pluto package I guess I don't have time to to add these shortcuts this is a Partial solution to this issue. Okay, so.